What's up YouTube? It's your girl Renee and I am back with another video and I think I already kind of did an intro but I just wanted to like step in here. I just wanted to step in here and really just reiterate that this video is kind of like a get ready with me but also kind of like a get to know me but then also talking about topics that I've been wanting to talk about. <laughs> it's just a hodgepodge of like a lot of different rambles and a lot of different things. So I hope that you enjoy this video. I hope that you kind of feel like a more personal connection to me um, <laughs> because my videos are kind of I feel like random and sporadic I don't have like set days so thank you for watching this video go ahead and stay tuned if you want to see how I achieve this look that was so ratchet that whole smack like I don't talk like that for real <laughs> but yes so um yeah so if you want to see how I achieve this look this is pretty much an everyday type of look for me um I do tend to be kind of heavy on the eyes and like a little more minimal in the lipstick area um, or vice versa, I may do like a bold lip and then just like really simplistic eye look. So, yeah, but thank you guys for watching and see you in my next one. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Renee from RG Mode, and I'm back with another video and I am fresh faced. Yes, I just got out of the shower. I washed my hair. That's why my hair is all like in this t shirt right now. Um, but I just wanted to come on here and do a video real quick. And it's going to be a get ready with me video. I do have somewhere to go today. Um, but at the same time, I wanted to do a get to know me, get ready with me type of video because I feel like um, I did a video a while ago, like trying to talk about what my channel is going to be about. But it was a little like random but this one i'm actually going to cater it to like you guys getting to know me i have gained i think it is now 19 new subscribers so from the end of september until now i have been a little more consistent with my channel at the end of september i was about at 78 subscribers and now i'm at 97 so i'm really excited i feel like um that doesn't sound like a lot to a lot of people but honestly to me it is so awesome and i'm so appreciative of the new subscribers so if you have just recently subscribed, thank you so much. If you are new to my channel, definitely go down there and subscribe. I have some great content and I'll get into like what my channel is all about. I have not moisturized my face yet, so I'm going to be using the Clean and Clear. This is the Acne Control Moisturizer. Um... I'm not sure if it really fights away the acne because I do break out some steel, um, but my face has been pretty decent. I felt like I was breaking out a lot before because I was super stressed and I have been eliminating like stressful things in my life. So with that being said, my face is starting to like clear up just a little bit. However, I still have like some dark scarring and stuff from previous acne that I've had over the years. Um, and then if you haven't followed me, you notice that um, I do have like some dark scarring on my like like lower chin and neck area like right underneath my like chin basically I've grown hairs from shaving that area if I got hairs and stuff and so it has been a journey to like eliminate that so I don't of course shave anymore I have been like doing hair removals and stuff like that but I yeah so I that's pretty much like what's going on with my skin right now I am going to go in with this primer it is from Ruby Kisses I actually just picked this up from my local uh, beauty supply store I like to concentrate it like mostly in the areas of which I'm going to get the oiliest. Um, I think I am going to go ahead and orange correct as well. I haven't done this in a while, but what my channel is all about, I definitely do a lot of fashion videos. I want to do way more fashion videos. So as of right now on my channel, I have a lot of like hauls and stuff because I love going shopping and I love buying new things. Um, and I also want to talk about... Um, I feel like some um, trends and like lookbooks and I want to do a lot of like you know how to style stuff so you know if you don't know how to style a certain t um, type of clothing whether it's like a blazer or how to style you know velvet which is really trendy right now or um, just basically anything if you were to ask me you know how would I style it I can do a video about that and so I want to do that for my channel um so i want to have that platform where if anyone has any questions about anything they can ask me and i'll give my opinion on how to style something i'm going to go ahead and buff in this orange corrector right now i'm going to use this um elf this is the small stippling brush and it my brushes are a little dirty so don't judge me but um 
just buff this in real quick and just kind of blend it out across like the dark areas where I have like um, any like dark discolorations or whatever so yeah so I want that to be something that's going on, on my channel so my channel is about fashion I do do a little bit of beauty stuff as you see right now I'm doing like a get ready with me kind of makeup thing it's not really like tutorials necessarily because like I don't know if I'm actually teaching anything I'm kind of more so just showing you what I do to me it's just really about having fun it's really about feeling like a girl womanly you know and it just kind of uh, gives you that creative reign to like do whatever it is you want to so that's why I love makeup. It's not to like alter my face or do something totally different. It's really about just enhancing the beauty that I already have and also just having fun. And then I also do some lifestyle things and they're more so like DIY projects. And I do a lot of home decor and home inspirational videos, whether it's like seasonal things or anything, organizational stuff. So I'm actually gonna start a new series on my channel. It's gonna be called Makeover My Space. And in that series, I'm gonna actually be able to make over homes, apartments, offices, so I'm really excited about that and actually I just recently did one um, and I'm trying to edit it right now and it should be up on my channel soon maybe if not this week next week I'll probably have it up but outside of that um, yeah that's one of the segments that's gonna be on my channel and I'm really excited about that so my channel is fashion a little bit of beauty and then lifestyle things absolutely love on YouTube watching like people clean their homes clean their apartments reorganize and declutter and like get rid of stuff and like especially like wardrobe swaps and all of those are like my favorite videos to watch um, I also love get ready with me's and I love fashion lookbooks of course and things of that nature so on my channel I do have a few of those so you'll see those type of things things that I love to watch I actually don't mind creating because I feel like it's just things that I think are cool um, now I'm gonna actually focus on my brows and they've been growing out I'm super excited about that because they actually were real real bad like a few years ago and I'm so happy that they're like on you know they're they're way better than they used to be so what I usually use for my brows is between the elf palette which is super affordable you can find this at like Target or basically anywhere elf is sold but this is the one in dark so I just use an angled brush. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's just like a, a really thin angled brush. It's kind of stiff and I like a stiff angle brush because I feel like it really like makes your brows look bomb. I am just like drawing underneath my brows. I draw like a line pretty much and then I blend upward just to uh, give it that full look. I've been really trying to master my brows lately due to the fact that every time I see myself in a video or if I see myself in a photo, I feel like my brows are like not in sync with one another. Like they look fine separately, but together they're just like a look crazy. And um, I find that my brows, like one brow is like further in and then one brow is like further out. And I'm like, how? Like, I don't know. So when I'm looking at myself in the mirror right now, I don't even like, I don't see that but after I look at pictures I'm like what is going on with my brows I don't know um, but I'm trying to get better so it takes me a while so I may have to come back after I do my brows and talk to you guys so alright so I've done my brows but now I'm just concealing around them and what I usually use is the NYX above and beyond full coverage concealer and this one I actually have a lighter shade but this one is a darker one for me it's called nutmeg and nutmeg is basically like maybe a sh one shade or a half a shade off of my actual skin tone color and I like using this one underneath my brows and around my brows just because um, it actually doesn't have that like weird halo look when you're trying to like carve around your brows And concealing around the brows is really great too for when you need a little cleanup and so you can conceal those like little hairs that are starting to grow in. Now I kind of want to give you a little backstory about me, get to know me personally. So um, I'm originally from Chicago um, and I now live in Austin, Texas. So I think I talk about climate a lot on my channel and when I talk about it is because I mean I'm used to four seasons and now living here in Austin it's totally different it's like extremely hot or like kind of hot or like rainy and weird it's just it's such awkward seasons and 
the weather is always unpredictable basically so right now it's november it is the what 15th today and i literally like have on a sweater but i have the ac on like <laughs> i'm just wearing sweaters in my house like it's My career path has been fashion merchandising and in retail a little bit. And I've been like, you know, managers of different stores and stuff like that. And now I'm kind of more trying to cater my career to doing more of what I love, which is like blogging and, you know, really into the fashion industry and not just the retail side of it, because that's what I've been doing. But I really want to work one-on-one um, -on -one with like fashion houses and my I see my career going in a different way and just in a different direction um, so right now I'm actually gonna put on my foundation I'm using the L'Oreal Pro uh, Pro Matte the infallible one I love this stuff um, if you've seen one of my videos I believe I said this is like my holy grail uh, foundation because I love how matte it is and the color is pretty decent but I also end up mixing it with the NYX Total Control foundation drops I love this I'm actually in color deep in this one or deep rich and then in the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte foundation I'm actually in color soft sable 111 I have used 112 before and if I get a tan in the summertime or anything like that um, I use that one but it does have a lot of like red undertones so I kind of got to be careful with that one um, with that same stippling brush I'm gonna go ahead and just dip it into the foundation I just mix them right on top of each other and then I just place it all over my face okay and so now that it's kind of like evenly distributed a little bit I'm gonna go in with these um, like faux dupe um, Anis, I think that's what the name of the actual original brush is like this, this shape and like the way that it's structured. I think they're called, no, they're called Artiste brushes, I believe. And this is actually from Amazon. If I can find it, I'll try to link it down below. But I love these um, and I love the idea behind them because you can totally like really work in your foundations. Um, these brushes are pretty great. I remember I went to, uh, was it Dillard's to go price the actual Artiste brushes? <sighs> they were so expensive. I was like, okay, I cannot buy one brush for $90. I was like, no, 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 no. So I got these instead. What I've been loving lately, as far as music is concerned, I love SZA. Like her album is bomb her new album is called control but it's uh ctrl like the actual button on a keyboard which is cool um but yeah i love that whole album i will sit there and listen to the entire thing i've been loving trip um janae aiku i think that's how you pronounce her last name um her new album bomb i absolutely love her first of all i love everything like that she does and i was loving her and big sean's latest like collaboration album their new um group is called 2088 if you didn't know <laughs> but i'm pretty sure you did i mean i don't know like i love that album too that they have together it's bomb i like their relationship too i'm not sure if it's real or not i mean i guess it's real i mean she got it tattooed on her so like tattoo if you know it's real like tattoo my face on you so i know it's real so it gotta be real <laughs> but um yeah, so I like, you know, their whole little vibe that they got going. Their album is really, really awesome. And I like Big Sean even before, like, Jenny Aiku. Because, um, you know, I like them separately. And then when they came together, I was like, yes, this is a movement. I'm loving it. So I've been listening to that. i also been trying to listen to the Chris Brown album, even though it's, like, uber long. And I just can't even get past five songs. So I've listened to the internet. Um, Sid, I love her. Her voice and, the like, the way she sings It's just so, like, it's just dope like I just absolutely love it so I'm just tapping some concealer on right now this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer I think I use color 5 and it's a pretty bright color as you could tell like it's like bright but I like pretty much only use this when I am like I said trying to go like super glam 
and I pretty much I don't really do it on my chin as much I used to and I don't really do it on my cubist bow as much either um I don't know I just used to break out a lot of my cubist bow and I feel like it's just a really sensitive area on my face or something I'm not really sure but I would like put concealer there and I would feel myself just like super breaking out so I'm basically going right back to that same stippling brush and I'm just like going to buff that color in and like spread it out throughout my forehead and then I'm going to like tap the concealer underneath my eye area. I mean, I'm listening to a lot of stuff lately. I love her, the her, she spells it H dot E dot R dot. <laughs> um, but yeah, I absolutely love her voice too. I just think music like that, I feel like it's a whole different genre. Like I'm not sure what it's called, but it's not R&B and it's not hip hop. It's not like pop. It's just, it's like it's not even R&B soul I don't feel like I feel like it's just its own genre I'm not really sure like if you know like let me know down below um but I love her music and I love music like the internet and I love music like Janae Aiku and I love like Janelle Monae and uh stuff like that like that's my jam I will listen to those type of artists all day what else oh of course Solange like outside of her music in general like her in general like she is so bomb she is literally a fashion icon first of all like i am going to say that i feel like i, I just can't with her fashion she's just everything that new pharrell song you know what not the one that just came out with um rihanna i like that one a little bit but i think it needs to like grow on me his new song though that he has i think it's with uh katie perry and big sean catch feelings i think or catch feels or something like that i love that song i love the beat to it it's just like real catchy i feel like it should have been like a summertime like was it did it come out during the summertime when did that song i don't know <laughs> i'm not sure when that song came out but honestly like it gives you like vacation vibes to me i feel like if i'm going on vacation no matter what time of year it is like i want to play that song like i want that to be like my get ready to like turn up type of song like i don't know i just really really like the vibes it has so that's my music that i've been loving lately and then tv shows i've been watching a whole bunch of tv and i'm not really a tv show person like i mean i'm a tv show person now but like back in the day i didn't feel like i was necessarily one of those people who like ran home to go watch some show or whatever like people was all into What's that show that people absolutely loves? Um, How to Get Away with Murder. I think I've seen like two episodes. Don't tell nobody and do not judge me. Um, <laughs> and I think, uh, what is the other one where, um, what is her name? Carrie Washington. Um, Carrie Washington, yes, that's her name. Anyway, I have not seen one episode and people probably would like kill me right now. <laughs> like, what, you haven't seen it? Like me and my fiance literally just binge watched Game of Thrones. And it's what it is seventh season is about to be or something like that like i mean yeah i've been sleep on it obviously i know that but i like i don't know i just can't like i don't know i'm just late to a lot of stuff but lately so of course okay going back i love game of thrones obviously so i'm super excited for when this next season comes up i'm kind of sad that it's going to be over because i feel like that's something that should just be around forever just like harry potter i'm just like just keep coming out with books come on like give me something new so um but uh loving that i absolutely love sci-fi stuff so anything sci-fi like i will be watching it um lately we've been watching um um, Will and Grace the new one that's on Hulu now love it super funny so hilarious I like just can't um I've been watching Jane the Virgin lately and I'm kind of addicted now so I'm still on season one so <laughs> don't judge me um I love the Fosters if you are not familiar with the Fosters first of all look at my face first of all let's backtrack um I just I was trying to set my concealer I'm using the airspun powder um it looks like that if you can see it and uh, I'm using it in color translucent extra cover I kind of am baking just a little bit but I'm really about to just dust this off right now actually so I'm using this Sonia Kashuk brush to dust it off it's pretty dense and fluffy at the same time um been loving that show the Fosters is literally the best show ever. I love it. It's got so much drama, first of all, um, which <laughs> if you don't like like crazy drama movies that I mean, TV shows that kind of keep you on the edge and like make you I like literally it was one point one of the seasons. I think it was like season two or something. I 
cried like every single episode. It was ridiculous. I was like, I don't know if I can watch the next one because I can't take it anymore. I felt like I was there connected with them, which I think is the best. Like if you feel that emotionally connected with a show, like the writers and the actors are doing their damn thing. I have set my concealer pretty much. I want to set the rest of my face. And what I usually have been using is the NYX um, Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. I'm gonna use this um, more dense brush just kind of like distribute the color a little bit because as you can see I look pretty flat I feel like even with the highlight I did um, I or concealer highlight once I like start swirling it into this area and then it just kind of gives me like a contour almost I don't really classify my personal style into like one category because I feel like I personally have different like I, I'm always different like it, it depends on my mood it depends on like you know what I've been loving lately so um, I can pretty much be like a girly girl and like in heels and then I can turn it around and be like super sporty and real urban and in sneakers so I like that versatility that I feel like I personally have uh, I'm gonna actually use this is a tried and true kind of an old uh, contour that I used to use this is from the covergirl queen collection it's in true ebony I love this stuff it's really creamy and it just kind of gives you like a really nice warm color I'm using this um, Sonia Kashuk brush and it's kind of like angled and really thick but thin. Put on my forehead a little bit. I do have a big forehead. <laughs> so All right, so what is this makeup look going to be? I don't even know because I'm like contoured. I have a really, really light contour. I need to, I think, set my contour a little bit. I have this cute little brush from Sonia Kashuk and I think I'll just like dip it in some powder and ugh, just hope for the best. I'm like slightly nervous, but I'm trying not to be. <laughs> okay, and just kind of like buff that out. I don't know what else to like share about myself, like for the remainder of this video, honestly, because like I, I literally wrote down those things and I've already talked about them, and I'm like basically done with all of that. So. Um, I guess I could just talk about topics that I have been thinking about lately. Um, I know, I don't know if you guys follow Makeup Shayla, but I love her. If you don't, you totally should. She's a great makeup artist and I like her personality. I feel like she just comes off as like really true and genuine. Um, I'm going to clean up that contour too underneath with the remaining powder that's on this sponge. Just like tap right below. And this just really gives it like a crisp look. I love Makeup Shayla because I feel like she's genuine and everything and um, but she recently was talking about and she just made a video and I want to watch it because I haven't seen it but she was recently talking about how curvy girls don't really have people to look up to I guess when it comes to fashion and not look up to it in a sense of like 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 a mentor but like look up to or I don't know if she said that wasn't I don't know if that was her exact words but it was like more so like we don't have somebody to go to like as far as videos are concerned or like um not and not like Instagram fashion like actual like for real for real fashion talking about the latest trends and like all of the like latest things that are out like there's a lot of like body shaming type of things going on as far as like you know what people think is fashion I feel like you see it on skinny people and then you don't see like a lot of curvy girls wearing all the latest fashion like you see I mean that's 
it's hard, it's harder to say like you don't see them as much on YouTube that's what I'm gonna say so and I get her point because that's why I want to do it like I'm out here like I'm not skinny by any means you know so I am out here trying to um, be what we need in this industry I guess and in this type of like platform so I'm uh, taking my Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm actually going into this like bronzy kind of brown color and it's like the third from you see it where it is but it's a really rich beautiful color and I'm packing that on the lid and working it into the crease but she was uh, saying that she wanted to change her fashion or she was changing her fashion she doesn't always want to be in a bondage dress basically in bondage dresses are like those Instagram dresses like from like Fashion Nova and um, what are those other companies um, I don't even know. I can't even think of them right now. But all of those like companies that are like, you know, Instagram fashion, and it's not what's going on in fashion right now. It's literally just Instagram fashion and it just kills me. And um, you know, I'm just I'm bringing this up to kind of talk about people making these YouTube videos I've been seeing lately where it's like, you know, how to dress like an Instagram baddie, where to get clothes, um, if you want to be an Instagram baddie or like all that type of stuff. And I'm like but that's not even fashion like it pisses me off to see that all the time and it's like those brands that they're promoting I get I get it that they're sponsored and they're like giving them like clothing and stuff like that but at the same time like why is this the thing like you know fashion is actually none of that stuff like they don't even have the latest like trends and stuff like I mean I feel like they just have literally the Instagram fashion that's a whole nother genre like that's his own world like you know so I've applied this color all over my lid and it's kind of in my crease I'm now going to smoke out my crease because uh, it's not blended I'm using a different brush and it is a little dirty but I'm going to actually tap it into um, this like brick red kind of like a soil red type color I don't know if you can see that but yeah this one right here but yeah, and it's so true and it's super annoying to me actually that, you know, people like that's what people are aiming for. They're like, how to become an Instagram baddie? No, <laughs> how come how to become a fashion influencer or like, you know, how to, you know, style the latest trends or whatever. Like this whole Instagram thing is crazy and I'm not here for it. And it's not because it's like it's not it's not it's first of all it's not even just like it's not for skinny people or whatever it's not like there's this whole thing because with actual fashion it's like catered to like a certain body type sometimes you know it's more so that's what you kind of see like it catered towards a skinnier body type and then like now um with the whole instagram baddie thing it's more so catered towards like video viscan video vixen style body types you know people who are like super curvy and um i don't know like you know it's just it's just all over the place it's like oh so it's because mainstream fashion and the fashion world is catering quote unquote to like skinnier people then now this whole like instagram baddie thing is like catered towards like curvaceous girls i don't know it's women i don't know it's just all over the place and i feel like i wish that fashion will just be fashion what it is and not necessarily just for one type of person and i don't think that it is i think that we just need to get out of that mindset that you know oh that look is only for a skinny person or or that look is only for a curvy girl or whatever it is like i'm just over it so i'm just blending this out so that there isn't any like super harshness. My eyebrows are looking a little shiny. I don't like that. So I'm going to like tap a little bit of powder around them just a little bit. Like I'm taking just a little bit of this powder and like literally I hate shiny brows. I think that they're so strange. I'm gonna go in with the Ebony and I am going to, from Black Radiance, and I'm actually going to contour my nose. So 
like I'm basically drew a line. And so I'm gonna take that concealer brush and just like buff this out. So it just kind of like slims the nose just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to take those shadows and actually drag them underneath my waterline in the like under eye area. I think I'm going to actually, in the inner tear duct, put um, some color. I absolutely love this rose gold type color right here on the end here. So now I'm actually going to align my waterline and I've been using the peach. This is like a peach color to me. It is actually called rose natural it's called calling my buff so i thought that was pretty cute um but i am going to put that in my waterline so i like how like woke my eyes look um it can be a little scary because i haven't put on my mascara yet so don't worry Okay, so I went on ahead and did my mascara off camera because I tend to like put on like 50 coats. So um, I actually ended up using the um, Big Shot Colossal, the Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Maybelline mascara. It's <laughs> a lot to say. The one that's the collaboration with Makeup Shayla. This is the color Baddest Black. And then I also put on the Marc Jacobs on top of that because I'm extra. So this is the Velvet uh, Noir Major Volume Mascara 10 Noir. So I like super like like I'm all about the lashes also want to do a little bit of some blush and what I've been loving lately is the black radiance blush this is in color toasted almond I love this love this I want it to be like super pigmented and crazy I am going to go ahead and use this Sonia Kashuk brush Next, I'm going to actually go in with my highlight, and I think the highlight that I'm going to use, I haven't used it in a while, but I'm going to go ahead and pull this bad boy back out. It is the Becca Heal Champagne Pop. Now, I believe I broke this. Um, yeah, <laughs> it looks like this. Now, it looks like it's like formula physicians type of stuff, but it's not. Unfortunately, I had took some trip, and then when I came back home, I realized that it was broken. I was so sad, um, but... I'm just kind of putting a lot on this brush actually and I'm gonna just give myself some glow I'm gonna take my finger and then put it on the bridge of my nose and then use another finger to kind of blend it out a little bit and then for the actual like face, because it is, um, I don't want it to be like a straight line. I'm gonna kind of like tap around it just so I can kind of like slightly blend that out just a little bit so it's not harsh. And then, so that's kind of like giving me like glow from within type of vibes. Um, I feel like for my lips, I wanna keep it with a gloss. I've been doing just glosses lately and I've been using actually the NYX glosses. All right, so these are my new NYX glosses, and these are just like the plain butter glosses. They aren't intense or anything like that, so it kind of gives you a little bit of pigment, but then it still kind of just reads like a true lip gloss. My absolute favorite out of the three that I just picked up is the Tiramisu. This one is literally bomb, especially on brown skin. I feel like it gives you a good nude type of pink kind of color undertone, but it still reads as a really true, really nice gloss. This one is called Raspberry Pavlova, I believe it's called, and it is like a really nice like burgundy-ish type color. 
but then kind of mixed with like a pink undertone but then it's still very very glossy and then there's this one I actually just recently picked up and it's called angel food cake and I like this one as well but it is a little more on the pinkier nude side so I think I'm going to just use this one the tiramisu and I do like to kind of like fake line it with the lip with the lip gloss wand And then when I get like gloss all over the place, I tend to take a like little Q-tip and just clean it up a little bit. But this is the makeup look, I believe. Only thing I do next is take my Urban Decay D-Slick and I just spray it all over my face. All right guys, so this is pretty much what it looks like once I like pulled my life together because I have that crazy t-shirt on still and everything. So I just like pretty much did my hair. It's still drying, I still have product in it as you can see, but I am like super curly right now. I'm just popping on these earrings. These are super old. I have on my Alex and Ani bracelets, um, all five of them. And then my Apple Watch and this is the first generation. Oh, and my actual sweater. I love this sweater, it feels super good and it's actually not one of those like cow neck, you know, gonna just choke you a suffocation and you feel super hot. This is a sweater, if you live in a hotter climate, you can get away with. Um, it's from H&M. This is the finished look. I hope that you guys actually did get to know me and um, were able to like, you know, feel a sense of closeness to me and like relate to some of the topics I was talking about and also relate to um, just me in general. Um, like I said in the intro, if you have any questions or suggestions, let me know down below. Talk to you guys later. See you in the next one. Bye.